So this is what happened, right? So he gets the call from his girl. She's like, oh my God, somebody broke into my apartment and he was hiding behind the door when I got here and he ran out and I'm scared. So he he rushes to her house, right? Even though they kind of like broken up. That's That was his main, they've been together for years. And they just broke up maybe two weeks, right? So he gets there and the dude is gone. But he's, He's in the mind state of, like, he's about to murder this dude, yo. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever, he's ready for it. Whatever he got there, he came there ready with that in mind. Like, I'm about to fuck this shit up, right? But the, the story wasn't sitting right with him. He didn't, it didn't, he didn't understand why, why did the dude break in? Why he didn't take nothing? Um, Like, he just ran out. So, my homeboy, he ends up talking to her landlord who let him know that that dude had been there lots of times. She was talking about putting him on the lease. Wow. That I was just sharing that it was on my mind because domestic violence and um, people being passive aggressive, people do things every day and wonder like, oh, why did he kill me? Or why did this happen? It's because of how you move and how you treat people. And then after a while, it builds up, right? He was very lucky that the dude wasn't there um she was lucky because she actually was the one that put everybody in danger um she put her boyfriend in danger she put the new dude that she's messing with in danger she put her kids in danger um and this happens every day so fellas i say that to say man don't don't be out here simping pursuing things in such an aggressive way because came to find out also later on that not only did she cheat on him, she got pregnant by this dude, yo. You got to watch how, you, how you're moving out here because a lot of times the women, they do things in a way where they don't know how detrimental it could be. And you just have to protect yourself. That one time he came to an apartment and he didn't know uh, she was seeing, she was messing with some other dude. Not, not, this is another, another dude. The, the, the dude she was messing with before was some dude that he didn't even have a car. Like he ran from a house on foot that day. Like he didn't even have a car. But this dude, he had a car and he knew that they were together. And one day he pops up unannounced at her crib and she hides the dude that she's messing with now. She hides him in the bedroom, locks the bedroom door. And so I'm just saying, man, if y'all dealing with people, man, and y'all in an open relationship, that's cool. But even open relationships, um, you see how people act. You see how Megan Thee Stallion and Tori and all them, everybody fucking everybody. And then people get feelings. And that's what happens. So I just, I recommend, you know, don't, don't do it. Man, just know that. You could be putting your life at risk because people are emotional and people do crazy things, man. So don't don't be out here playing with people and watch out for these these chicks out here, man. You got to really know what you want out of the relationship. Um, some of these you'll get with somebody and they'll use you for whatever it is. Yo, like your good energy, your money. Um, you can cook. You can fix cars. You can, whatever it is, they'll use you. And then when they get to the point to let, they, they call leveling up or they've outgrown you, then, then they move on. But man, y'all be careful out there. Yo. That's all I got to say is be careful. He, she cheated on him. It's not his baby. Um, And then she smiles about it. 